this model of democracy that we have religiously and skillfully imposed on us does not work. These are the direct words of President of Guinea, Mama Mamadou Doubouya. Mm -hmm. That this democratic model imposed on us, something you've been imposing almost religiously, this model does not work. Africa, ladies and gentlemen, is suffering from a governance model that has been imposed on it. A model that is certainly good and effective for the West, which developed it over the course of its history, but which is difficult to incorporate and adapt to our realities, our customs, and our environment. However, I want to say very clearly, without hypocrisy, without pretense, eye to eye, we're all aware that this democratic model that you have so insidiously, skillfully imposed on us after the La Bolle summit in France, something you've been imposing almost religiously, this model does not work. Various economic and social indices demonstrate this plain and clear. This is not a value judgment on democracy itself. Believe me, this is just taking stock of the situation. It's a balance sheet. Over several decades of chaotic experimentation with this model in our environment, we can make this observation. This was a period full of nothing but political games. And this, of course, has been to the detriment of what is essential, namely the economy and the local processing of our natural resources. Allow me to take this truth exercise a little further. Through my short but very intense experience of managing a state, Guinea, I have come to better understand the extent to which this model has, above all, contributed to maintaining a system of exploitation and plunder of our resources by others. And a rampant corruption of our elites. National leaders who have often been granted democratic labels based on their acquiescence or their capacity for selling off the resources and the property of their people or perhaps their ease in giving in to the pseudo recommendations and injunctions of the great powers. I must confess in this regard that everything that I am facing goes beyond all imagination. These are the same people who profess democracy, transparency, who denounce poor governance and corruption, who dictate the rules. It is they who, behind the scenes, very discreetly and underhandedly are increasing pressure to make us cede our national wealth through unconscionable Leonine contracts. I understand certain leaders and some of my predecessors who, because they possess certain weaknesses, because they were under pressure, or because they had skeletons in their closets, or particularly because they had a political agenda, gave in to what was being asked of them. I understand them, even if I do not approve. In some cases, I was even reminded that if I had a political agenda, I would be less comfortable carrying out the reforms that my government and I 
are tackling. One thing is certain. We have but one concern, and that is the well-being of the people and living together. This is our priority. This is why the transition I lead has chosen to focus methodically on clear objectives in a precise order. The social, the economic, and the political. He was making his address in regards to the democracy that we have been for the longest time been practicing yeah. in Africa, as an Af which as he Af says as does African not work. Countries. Yeah, does not work. And he says, according to his experience, it does not work. Mm -hmm. And it's true, it does not work. But mm -hmm. it works. Does for not the rest. work for Africa, yeah. but works for, for the, the West. West. Okay. And he continues and say that. Mm -hmm. This model has contributed to maintaining a system of exploitation mm -hmm. and plunder of our resources by others and corruption of our elites. Mm. Yes, that is what happens all over Africa, yeah. especially this electoral democracy mm -hmm. where we vote. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. This is because the same people who keep on singing democracy, they force us into this democracy, uh, uh, fair elections, they are the same people who manipulate democracy and use it for their own benefits. They put their own puppets which they will put, they, which they are able to put pressure on so that they can extract our minerals or get our minerals for some very little coins. Eh? Yeah, they fund them. You know, once they find, they fund you for your um, election, campaigns, mm -hmm. your whatever you have to do before the elections, you have no other choice but, but to, to succumb. Yeah? Yeah. There's, a, there's a place where he says he does not, um, he, he understands them, he does not blame them, yeah. he understands them, but, but that he does, does not, not condone, mean yeah, he, he does condones not condone. what they are doing. Yeah. So it's very unfortunate, guys. Um, we should be very careful who we, we, we vote for, who we, we trust as the next person who yeah. will lead us to our destiny as different countries of Africa. We need, we need to do our due diligence, mm -hmm. our own research, to know if these persons are funded by the people mm -hmm. who are there to man manipulate democracy and use our resources for their own benefit and for the benefit of these leaders we are voting. Yeah. So guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. We sometimes talked about democracy and you guys commented fully. We were happy with each other. Some were supporting, some were against. Some were, against. against. <laughs> some yeah. were trying to explain that democracy is not the problem. It's, it's our leaders who use it. In yeah, a, not okay. just our leaders. Uh -huh. It's the interference from ex the, the external ex forces. Yeah, yeah, the external forces. So guys, let us know again. Let us talk about this. These are the words of Mamadou Dubuya. The president of Guinea, the most eloquent president in this UNG uh, meeting that happened in New York. Let us know if you already love him because we do. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share as much.